Hi and welcome to this short video where we will be looking at open row geometry and how the technology behind may save you some time and effort throughout the whole design process. Open row geometry is a rule-based approach where we go along and create elements and at the same time we build rules and associations, relationships between civil elements. So information regarding where, how, and with what method did we create the object will be stored within the object and within the DGN. When we go on and we modify our element, then any related element will recreate themselves according to the rules that we have set. This is a concept that we call design intent and the design intent will be honored and re retained throughout the whole design process. Today, I'm going to show you a few examples of what design intent really is. So to start with, we're just going to create a geometry. I'm going to zoom in to my first circle here. I'm going to choose a center snap, but I'm going to start placing my geometry. I only want a center snap in the first circle. And for the rest, I'm just going to place it more or less As I wish. So I now have a geometry. I'm going to go back down to my circle and I'm going to pick my geometry. As you can see, I get an icon here, a symbol telling me that I actually have created a relation between my geometry and this circle. And to be specific, I've put it in the center. Now, if I'll choose the circle, and I start moving it. You can see how my geometry is following because that is the rule I set for it. If I, on the other hand, take my geometry and I move it out of the center snap, I have now broken the rule. I, there is no rule anymore. The same would happen if I would delete the circle. Next example is when we create a curve. So I'm going to place a simple arc between elements. I'm going to pick the first element. I'm going to pick the second one. I want a radius of 120. I accept that. I trim both ends and now I get a curve. When I go on and I update this radius, let's say 130, you can see that open roads will remember that this is a curve between tangents. It will remember where it was trimmed and it will update the curve according to the relationship and the associations that I have created for it. In other words, the design intent is being honored. Third example, let's place an offset. I want the offset to be minus 10. I want the start distance at 400. And I'm going to accept that. And then I want it to be locked to the end, which is already ticked in here. And I'm going to accept and I accept. When I now move my geometry, you can see that the relationship between this end station and this end station is being honored as well as this one. I could move this one and create a new rule for it, meaning that it would be honored. So we not only get the indications from the symbols that we have a relationship between these elements, we can also go into our project explorer and the open rows model. We expand down to alignment and the elements that are within this alignment. I can go down, I can click on it, it will highlight, it will show here the dependencies between the elements. 
So understanding the concept of design intent is important because it will let you decide how elements should behave when they're being modified. This will save you time and effort throughout the whole design process because you will avoid tedious rework. Now, this was just a short demo of one part of Open Roads Geometry. And if you want more information, please visit our webpage at bentley.com or our community's webpage, which is bentleycommunities.com. And my name is Maria Passion, and thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.